In today's digital age, conducting academic research online has become an indispensable step for university students to complete their assignments. When doing research online, it is crucial to understand the concepts of digital citizenship and academic integrity. In this video, we'll explore what digital citizenship and academic integrity mean and how they intersect in your academic journey. Let's begin with digital citizenship. Digital citizenship refers to the responsible and ethical use of technology, especially the internet and social media, to engage with others, share information, and participate in the online community. Some aspects of digital citizenship include First, digital access, which means knowing what means can be used to participate in digital society. Second, digital commerce, which refers to possessing the knowledge to buy and sell in the digital world in a safe manner. Third, digital communication, that is, understanding the options of the digital communication methods and when they are appropriate. Fourth, digital literacy. This refers to learning how to use digital technologies appropriately. Fifth, digital etiquette, which means being considerate of others when using digital technologies. Sixth, digital law. This refers to having an awareness of laws, for example, rules and policies that govern the use of digital technologies. Seventh, digital rights and responsibilities. Here, it means protecting the digital rights of others while defending individual rights. Eighth, digital health and wellness, that is, understanding the risks, both physically and psychologically, that may accompany the use of digital technologies. And last, digital security, meaning protecting personal information while taking precautions to protect others' data as well. Now, let's delve into academic integrity. Academic integrity is the ethical code and moral foundation of the academic world. It means maintaining honesty and fairness in all aspects of your academic work. Examples of academic integrity include First, avoiding plagiarism. That is, not using someone else's work, ideas, or words without proper citation. Using proper citations means giving credit to the original authors when you use their research or ideas. Of course, you should not be cheating in any form, whether in exams, assignments, or group projects. Also, you should respect academic honesty by adhering to your university's academic honesty policies and codes of conduct. Lastly, ensuring authenticity means producing original work and not falsifying data or credentials. So, what's the link between digital citizenship and academic integrity? Well, they go hand in hand. Imagine you find a compelling article on the internet that perfectly fits your research paper. If you were to copy and paste that content without proper citation, you will not only be violating academic integrity, but also digital citizenship, as using others' work without giving credit to them may violate digital laws. Instead, a responsible digital citizen and an academically ethical individual would probably cite the source and acknowledge the author's work. As university students, you are not only responsible for your academic success, but also for maintaining a strong sense of digital citizenship. These principles will guide you to be ethical, respectful, and honest in both your online and academic lives. By practicing good digital citizenship and upholding academic integrity, you not only contribute to a positive online community, but also ensure the credibility and value of your education. Therefore, we should all make a commitment to being responsible digital citizens while preserving the integrity of our academic pursuits. If you want to learn more about digital identity or other related topics, visit digitaltattoo.ubc.ca and check out our tutorials.